managing Nginx logs, forwarding them to log files in custom locations, and also creating custom log formats. All in Docker environment, that's all we're going to see in this video. If you want to learn more, stick with me. Hello and what's up guys, Minim Guy here and in this video we're going to see how to customize Nginx's logs, passing them to custom files for each location blocks in Nginx's config file, also customizing the formats that Nginx will try to write to those files. So all this will be in Docker environment and I'll put all the files and configurations in my GitHub repository where you'll find the link down below. So without any delay, let's get down to work. So as you can see over here in the Nginx directory and logs subdirectory, I've got a docker compose and an nginx.com file. So in the docker compose file, I've got only one service, which is the Nginx itself, which is using the Nginx's official image. And in the volume section, it has only one volume that is mounted to it which is the nginx.com file, which we're going to see shortly, to the slash etc nginx nginx.com file, which is the default configuration file that nginx will try to configure itself. And I've got another volume, which will come back to this later in this video. And there is only one port that is mapped to this, which is 9999, which is exactly the port that nginx inside this container that will be created will try to listen on. So it is mapped to the exact same port, so we'll be able to actually reach it through the local host with this exact port over here. So moving to the nginx.com file, as you can see over here, I've got some log formats configurations over here, one being main, custom, and JSON. So the main log format is the predefined default log format that Nginx will write to log files or to the output and in this I've got some variables which as I said are the exact variables that Nginx will try to use in its default log format. And in the custom log format it is almost exactly the same and I've tried to add some custom fields to it just in order to test the outputs so that our changes are applied to Nginx logging. So the next is JSON that will come back later in this video. And in the server block over here, the server is listening on port 9999, which is exactly the port configured in the Docker Compose file. The server name is localhost, location slash, which will proxy pass to the IP address of my local machine on a random port, which if we go visit this, is an echo server that echoes whatever request that it receives. So if you wanted to set up an echo server for yourself, in my GitHub repository in the echo server directory, there is a docker compose file, so you'll be able to spin up one by only saying docker compose up dash d. So coming back to the configuration, in the location slash x, I've got another proxy pass to some server that does not really exist and there is no service listening on this port. So I've done this deliberately because I wanted to cause Nginx to throw errors. So if I go to the terminal, I'll hit ls by saying docker compose up dash d, in the exact location where the docker compose file exists. So as a result, I can see that a network has been created and also a container has been created attaching to that network. So if I say docker compose ps, I can see that my Nginx container is up and running, listening on my desired port. Also by saying docker compose logs dash f, I'll be able to listen to the logs of the containers that are created by this docker compose file over here. So right now if I go to port 9999 I should be able to 
receive exactly the same thing coming from the upstream server which is the echo server and over here in the container logs I can see that Nginx is trying to log its default log format so by hitting ctrl c I'll exit the logs go back to the configuration file in order for Nginx to send its logs to files I've got two instructions over here one handling the access logs to the slash var log nginx access.log and another handling the error logs which will be written to the slash var log nginx error.log so i'll save this file basically this file will exist inside the container so i need to persist it outside the container on the host machine so in the docker compose file in the volume section i'll try to uncomment this line over here which will say dot slash logs directory map to the slash var log nginx inside the container so basically those two files that will be created by nginx will be persisted in this dot slash logs directory so i'll save this file switch to terminal and restart the nginx service by saying docker compose down and docker compose up dash t again and if I listen to the logs of this container I should no more receive logs over here so again I'll try to refresh this page and if I go to the logs there is nothing over here and also if I go to the logs directory beside the docker compose file I see that two files has been created over here by nginx and in the access.log file I should be able to see the request that I made from the browser so again this is the default logs that nginx will try to create initially also if I go to slash x which points to an upstream server that does not exist nginx will show relevant error for this so if I go over here in the logs directory to the error.log as you can see the error logs have been logged to this file over here so going to the nginx.conf file over here in the access log I can define the log format for this so right now I'll say custom hit save go to the terminal and restart the container again if I go over here try to make some requests if I go to the access.log file over here you can see the last nginx logs are different and there is actually a request id over here because in the custom log format I've got over here there is a dollar request id at the end of this log format so which variables you can use when defining custom log formats I'll put a link to the description section down below which actually lists all the predefined variables that will come with nginx and you can use accordingly for your use case to customize your logs for your needs so one last thing that i'll do is i'll try to enable the json log format so actually this is kind of the same as the custom log format over here the variables are almost the same but this is in json format with some key values which i've tried to use the nginx's predefined variables just remember to put escape equals json over here so that nginx will know that this is a json format in order for this to work correctly so if i come over here in the access log section i'll just simply change the log format to json hit save and go back to the terminal and restart the container again i'll go to the browser try to make some requests and if i go to the access.log file over here as you can see the log formats have been changed and right now logs are actually some valid JSONs that are written to this log file
so that's all for this video i hope you learned something new in this one if you have any questions any recommendations of course go ahead and ask me in the comment section down below in the next upcoming video we'll see how to send these logs through the network to a server listening on an ip port also i'll put the link for that video whenever it's ready in the description section down below also don't forget to watch other videos on this playlist where i've got other features about nginx web server and lastly don't forget to like and subscribe and with that i hope to see you in the next videos